Good evening, everyone. Welcome to a Tuesday night banter blitz, 6 p.m. Eastern time here in Montreal, Canada. It is freezing, but it's all good. I'm here inside playing blitz against premium members. So good to see you all. Uh, Europeans, hope you are still awake. G Men Ludo Kupi TVVT in the chat, in the chat, sorry, on Chess24. Hello to everyone from Twitch. What's up if you're watching from YouTube? Join the party on Twitch and Chess24 because I, once again, I'm not reading chat on YouTube. So I have a promo code here, Bishop H6. If you are not premium member yet, use that promo code and save 15%. So you guys know the drill. I'm here to play all the premium members. And already I got a lot of challenges tonight. Uh, we get, whoa, we get a lot of people. Okay. Um, let's take a first challenge. We got a lot of people challenging. Uh, let's start with Mr. Furbust. Furbust, let's uh, play you. We have played once and good luck to you. Flag of Catalonia, please. Good to see you. Let's play a Caro Can. Let's switch things up. Play something different. Okay. All right. I know nothing about this opening. I might, uh, I might die very quickly. Got no idea how to play this. <laughs> um, I know I'm supposed to play e6 and play c5, but other than that, I really have no clue. Um, I know that in some lines, uh, the uh, the queen can go here and try to trade queens. Don't know too much about it, but uh, we will see. If he takes, I'm going to take back with the knight. I will probably put my knight to f5 and then go from there. Maybe play c5 just to uh, gain some space. But the good news is I got rid of my uh, light square bishop, which is uh, usually a problem in those French slash Caro can structure. Um, it's a five minute game, so I'm gonna have to uh, play good chess and try to outplay my opponent in this end game. Let me know in the chat if everything is okay. Let me know if the sound, if the video is okay. And hopefully we will have a good banter. This is a free pawn. I love taking free pawns. So thank you so much. I'm gonna come back here. And when the, with the extra pawn, my... Uh, my plan could change a little bit. I could decide to go castle, castle um, queen side and play rook g8, or um, I could just let him take me. So let's just play c5, let him take me, king takes, connect my rooks, and find some play somewhere, somewhere here. He plays rook a d1, which means it's going to be even harder for him to uh, challenge the c file. Good evening, Jan606 from Twitch. Um, so he plays g4. I'm just going to take this. I don't think he's threatening much. I'm going to go here and probably go king e7. And now I have some ideas of uh, doubling my rooks uh, with something like rook h5, attacking the knight, and then maybe rook h8. The other idea is to just take here and go to rook c2. Um, a lot of options here, uh, but I'm doing very fine. He plays king g2. Let's take here. I don't believe that he uh, can do any damage with this. So I'm going to go rook c2. Um, and the idea is that I'm attacking b2. It is very hard for him to protect that pawn while maintaining good defense on d4. So Tom Bus, good to see you. He goes here. I, I could go here. I mean, uh, that's a possibility. But uh, why not grab some more free pawns? Knight takes d4. Very simple. I'm expecting a move like knight e3, against which I could just uh, go back with my rook and be up by two pawns. All right, let's go. Let's go back here just to be safe. And uh, if he plays rook c1, I'm probably gonna go rook c8. And uh, this end game should be very easy to convert. He goes here. Mm. Now, should I should I give him uh, should I give him the option here? If I take, he takes back rook h7. Is there any kind of nonsense here? I think there is. So you know what? Maybe I regret a little bit a rook c7. Maybe rook c8 was better. But uh, a good quality of a chess player is to recognize that he was wrong. And sometimes your ego 
is too big. You don't want to admit that you were wrong playing one move and you, you, you just refuse to go into this direction. But I admitted that I was wrong and let's start over. Maybe F6 over here. F6 just to open things up and then I got rook g8 check maybe. If he takes, g takes, knight, knight goes here, rook g8 check, taking control of the, uh, the g file. Bonjour Kilimanjaro. Wow, you usually come late, but uh, good to see you earlier today. Um, I'm not worried about much here, so let's just play knight c5, maybe with the idea to play knight e4. If he takes, I'm going to take back like this. f5 could be annoying in some lines, but uh, I guess I will be fine. Okay, he does it anyway, so let's... Uh, how do I deal with this? Okay, let's just take here first. Let's just take here first. He takes here, I take here. Now, am I in time to take the rook on the h1? Uh, the idea is that I want his rook to take back so I can take back with the king and defend this. So let's say he takes, rook takes, forcing king takes, against which I can play um, maybe d4. Maybe d4 is an idea. d4, knight f5, takes, takes. Or I guess I can just take like this. Uh, yeah, Kilimanjaro saying that the pawn belongs on d4 and the knight on e4. Um, this is exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to wait for him to commit. He goes here. Let's go here. The knight is kind of awkward here. He, may, he might have to move his king forward, but then knight e4 check is very annoying. He goes here. The knight is dominating this knight. He really has no nothing to do. Um, let's just play, uh, let's say, knight e4. Rook c2 incoming. I'm up three pawns. Really a very easy game to convert here. Unless, uh, unless of a massive blunder, I should be able to win this game fairly easily. Um, so I see a lot of people challenging. Good energy in the chat. Thanks for the game, says Furbust. All right, GG. I think he's going to be about to resign. All right, good game to you. Uh, let's take another challenge. Um, if possible, 3-0 possible 3-0 but uh you know what let's go for flag of catalonia please who's challenging 5-0 understandable he is lower rated maybe he wants uh more time to play his moves so let's see what he's gonna be doing um i'm gonna try to play something uh less uh wait i've been i've been in this guy is this a 1200 who was amazing i hope not i hope not but uh, let's see what he does. Let's see what he does here. Okay, flag of Catalonia. You got five seconds to make a move. No trolling allowed here. Five, four, three, two, one. I am deeply sorry about this. You can challenge later if you wish. Uh, so guys, try to challenge three minutes if possible. Okay, we got a name that I can barely pronounce. But it is a 2300 from Poland. That's dangerous. That's very dangerous. Okay, good luck to you, sir. Um, you can make a move and let's get this game going. Now I'm going to be very serious during this game. No more caro cans, no more openings I have no clue about. Um, hoping that my opponent will eventually make a move and stop trolling. Okay, c4, c5, and knight f6. You know what, knight f6. I'm gonna give myself a chance to play the King's Indian. Okay, so this is uh, really something that people do to uh, to play very solid against me. They refuse to play d4. So I'm gonna play c5, d3. Okay, so it's gonna be completely symmetrical and I'm gonna have to, uh, to win in this opening, which is a very hard task. Okay, so let's see. Remember that last time that we uh, we did something like this, I think I hung my knight here. He moved his knight and I just hung it, which was pretty embarrassing. So hopefully I will do better today and not hang my knight. Okay, queen here. I think I can go here. If he moves his knight, I go knight d4. I think this is not really precise. Um, I think maybe queen c1 would have been more precise. Now I got my rook on this file, and the queen is kind of awkward. I prefer the queen on d2. 
okay, he moves here. Now I can maybe go here, try to exchange this uh, bishop. Uh, he might want to play bishop h1 here. But then, uh, okay, knight here, I think I can take here. Do I play knight d4? Knight d4, e3. That's pretty solid for him. Although, I will do it anyway. Uh, and see what he does. e3, queen b7, check. Knight f3, knight f5. Uh, this is a possibility. If he plays knight f3 right away, I still have queen b7. And I feel that the queen is pretty good on this square. Cannot be attacked. And, uh, okay, do I play here or do I play check first? I think I'm going to play check first. And if he moves his king, I'm going to go knight f5. Uh, knight g4 is also an option. In fact, do I like knight g4 here? Knight g4 looks like a good move. So knight, knight, knight g4, although he can take and play e3 at the end. Okay, maybe not. Let, let's play here. Let's play safe. Let's go here. And uh, maybe maybe h5. Maybe h5. Threatening to play h4. And um, okay, now I go knight g4. And I have some attack. Some attack king chances. Maybe bishop d4. Queen b3, I gotta be careful. Maybe I'm gonna have to play e6. Yeah, let's play e6. Unless, does he have a sack here? I don't think he has a sack. And I can play knight d4 next move. If needed. So if he sacks, I take. He, he takes, I play king h7. I don't believe that two pawns per piece is enough for him. Um, he goes here. Now, do I have this move over here? Or do I have queen b6? Queen b6 looks right. Let's play queen b6. He cannot take right away because I take here. He has to play something like e3. But then the question is, can I take myself? Can I take this pawn? This is a really messy game here. I think e3 is pretty much forced. And then I might go d5. Okay, he takes. I'm going to take back. Um, e3 is logical. But then can I sack everything? Wait a sec. Did I blunder? The fact that I can't take here. Oh, that's a pretty terrible blunder. Uh, wait a sec. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Do I have d5 here? Does d5 work? So the idea is that queen takes, I go queen takes here, or even pawn takes. Um, <clears throat> if he moves the knight, then I can take this for free. Okay, he goes here. So now I will be up a piece. Uh, if I go here. Okay, let's go here. I might just up a clean piece here. Queen here, queen c6. Yeah, just queen c6. How does he escape? Queen here, bishop d4. Um, what's going on? So basically, I'm up a piece. Obviously, I didn't see 96. Uh, bishop d4. Bishop d4 looks good. Uh, let's do it. I don't see anything for him. He cannot stay on this uh, on this row. So, so he has to play queen here, but then is knight sack sexy? Is this knight sack sexy enough for you guys? I don't know if it's sexy enough. Wait a sec. Takes rook c1. Rook c1 is an issue. Uh, no, rook c1 is not an issue. I have knight d2. Should I do it? Is it sexy? I think this is pretty good. So knight takes bishop f2. And I win the knight back on g3. And I just won two pawns. And rook c1, I got 92 check. Zia, what's up? Good to see you. Good to see you. And I think he didn't see this move. He probably missed it. So basically, I am threatening to win another pawn on e2. Maybe e3 is, is his best shot, but then I can just take the knight on e4. And I mean, I'm up a piece for almost no comp. I think this is pretty good. 
I don't see anything he can do, to be honest. He goes here, I play check. Actually, I was going to say he's made it, but I'm just going to take here. Threatening queen h1 mate. So he has to go back here, but then I go back to f2 and I, and I made him. Okay, he goes here. Uh, what is the quickest way to mate him here? Is it queen b6? Queen b6, he moves the bishop. The knight e3 check is pretty strong. It's pretty good. But he has to move the bishop. Otherwise, I play queen f2, mate. And where does he even move his bishop? Bishop g5, maybe? Yeah, okay. I had rook f8 check incoming too. All right, I'm pretty proud of this game. Um, obviously, I didn't see knight e6, but as after d5, it was pretty good for me. All right, gg. Thank you for playing. Oh my God, guys, it's only it's only good players challenging. I'm not saying that <laughs> lower than 26 are not good, but um, it's uh, really tough challenges coming ahead. We got, uh, okay, we have a lot of people challenging. All right, G-Man Ludo, <coughs> let's play. I'm scared, I'm really scared. Okay, so we have played once and I won. And I, remember, I don't remember the game. And the 2600 is super dangerous for my reading. Those players are usually my strength uh, while being like 500 points below. So let's play fast and let's try to play good moves. Okay, it goes like this. So it's going to be Benoni. Unless, okay, he goes for the bind. He goes for the Maroxi bind. And let's take here. Bishop c6. F3. Okay, this is weird. He's supposed to play queen d3 or something. Now I'm transposing to a line I know. Um, transposing to a line I know. Oh no, this is not correct though. Maybe he has e5. Okay, okay, it's good. He played really quickly. Played really quickly. So b3 is a must here. Can I go here? Can I play a4? a4 takes, knight takes, queen takes, knight takes. Um, is this enough? Or do I play rook c8 first? What do I do? Um, maybe rook c8 is best. Just to put some pressure here. Zia says, Lafong, how's your rating today? Well, so far, so far, so good. Not bleeding yet. Not bleeding yet. Uh, can I play queen b4? Queen b4, a4. a4 takes, knight takes. Knight takes. Um, okay, let's go for it. Let's go a4 here. And the idea is just to shatter his pawn structure. So, um, okay, I can definitely take this. And then maybe, maybe queen b4. Does it make sense? Queen b4, so he doesn't push b4. And uh, if he plays knight d5, I just take it. e5, interesting. What's going on here? So, first of all, can I take on b3? Can I take on b3? Knight takes b3, queen d3, and do I survive? Or do I take first? If I take first, queen takes... Man, this is messy. Rook d8. Rook a3. So many possibilities. But I'm down on time. Okay, I gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. I can't uh, take forever here. Hopefully I'll be fine. So I'm taking this, threatening to take the queen. He goes here. Let's go rook a3. So everything is pinned and I'm hoping I can survive this. So I'm defending the knight twice, threatening to uh, run away with the queen next move. So he has to move the knight if he wants to pressure this. If he wants to pressure this, so I'm pinned everywhere, he has to move the knight. If he doesn't move the knight, I go queen c5. Okay, he moves the knight. So I have to take this. He takes that. Um, where is... Do I have any sort of tactics here? Can I play knight c5? I think I can. So if he takes my queen, I take here. If he moves the queen, I take the rook. I'm down on time. This is really terrible. It never happens to me that I'm down on time. I'm trying to play good chess here, that's why. So knight c5, the knight is good against the bishop. Um, if he takes my queen, I'm good. I take here and I thread the bishop. He has to move the queen then, defend the rook, but then queen c3, probably. 
Uh, he goes here. Okay, wait, let's go here. I'm giving up this pawn over here. But all this to trade queens. Okay, he takes here. Uh, let's play rook c2. Gotta move fast. Um, okay, let's play here. Now I will play rook c7 just to be solid here. And then knight e6. And I think I can think about moves like knight f4 later on. We'll see what he plays. Uh, if he plays bishop d3, I go rook c3. This is going to be a time scramble, guys. I want to play h4 as well. Okay, let's go here. Am I trapping his bishop? Am I trapping his bishop here? Uh, let's take. Let's go here. Um, let's play here. I'm trying to go here and here. Um, check here. Let's go here. No, this is pretty bad. What did I do? What have I just done? Threatening knight d5. Let's go here. Okay. Let's take this. Oh, I'm dropping this. Very bad. Very bad. Let's go here. Okay. Oh, yes. What a good break. Oh, what a good break. And now let's just flag him. I'll just move my king around the board. Maybe march my king forward eventually. And then I can sack here. Uh, let's go here. Feels good. Oh, feels good, man. Oh, wow. Two rating points to beat a guy who is my strength. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, feels good. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. Wow. G-Man Ludo, really well played. Really well played. You outplayed me probably. <laughs> But uh, in the time scramble, I guess uh, you gave up a rook, which is really unfortunate. Wow. Okay. All right. I need some. I uh, need some some coffee here. Clearly asleep during the game, but uh, waking up during the time scramble. Okay. That was good. <coughs> that was very good. Okay. So um, we got Mr. Tom Bus challenging. Okay. All right, Tom Bus. From the Netherlands, we have never played. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. All right, d4. Let's see what he does. Knight f6, okay. No, not another Banco. I'm sick of Bancos. Okay, let's play queen c2 and e4. Let's try something new. And, uh,. Uh, f4 maybe just having fun here f4 okay knight here and um, he insists on not talking on, on not taking this pawn uh, okay let's play a4 okay i'm gonna take here now i'm gonna castle and do i have anything to pressure him and try to play e5 he goes here, queen queen here. This is weird though. Can I can I simply play here? Why did he go queen here? Oh, to trade here. Interesting. Interesting. That's good. I didn't see this move. I really did not see this move. Okay, I have to take here. And now my game is unpleasant. Now it's definitely unpleasant because he goes here and rook b4. Yeah. Uh, he goes here. Okay, so I guess um, Rook here. I might want to play Bishop c1 and try to play e5 That's the point now the bishop is defending this maybe I want to Maybe I want to bring my knight to c4, but if I play knight d2 knight d3 is a Is a little bit unpleasant uh, He goes here uh, if I go here 
Knight c2. Okay. This is not a great game. This is really not a great game. Okay, let's play g4. We got nothing to do. We got nothing smart to do. Play g4. Okay, he goes here. What, he, what does he want? He wants rook b4 or something? Um, let's go here. He takes a take. Rook b4. Rook b4 is really unpleasant. Okay, rook f2. Got to take. Oh, he takes like this. I didn't see that. Did not see that. Now I'm dropping a pawn. So let's go here. This is a very, very, very bad game. A very tilting game. The tilt is real. He's going to take here. And I just got nothing. Um, yeah, I really got nothing here. Okay, let's play rook here. Rook f3, knight c5, knight g3. Uh, I want to trade this, okay. At least have a hope of chopping this pawn over here. I'm going to be honest, I don't have a good feeling about this one. Okay, threatening to take d4. Wait, what? Why does he... Is he trolling? Can just take this. Okay, I, I think he made a mistake here. Why, why did he trade? Uh, he could have played something like rook b4. Now material is equal. Okay, uh, I guess I'm fighting here. Uh, knight, knight there, king f3 he can take. He can also take. Or do I play... Am I dropping a pawn here? Oh, maybe I'm dropping a pawn. Okay, wait a sec. e5 takes. Okay, I gotta, I gotta drop a pawn. Knight c6, got to hustle, got to find some counterplay. So knight c6, uh, trying to put some pressure here. He goes he goes there, e4, I'm going to play bishop e3. I'm going to try to at least take the pawn. Okay, rook b2 check. Oh, he goes, he goes there. I obviously didn't see that. Let's go king g3. Knight e2 check, king f2. This is messy. This is really messy. <clears throat> Still down a pawn. Still down a pawn. At least a pawn, maybe two. No, down, down just one pawn. I have to capture e7 here. That's the goal. If I capture e7, my, my d pawn is uh, rolling. He's taking way too much time. Okay, now I'm on the verge of losing this. So rook d2, hopefully it doesn't blunder anything. Okay, this is very fortunate for me that he didn't see my bishop. Or he did, but he didn't see this. Can I play check? Okay, just king g2, I guess. Rook e2, check. Let's go back. Um, bishop f4, threatening the knight. Doesn't see it. This is amazing. I'm getting so lucky in those games. Tom Bus, GG. Wow. Wow. Getting really lucky. All right. Brandmaster. Abdu, a lot of people in the chat. Dirk is here. Olapa 911. Okay, a lot of people enjoying this. A lot of people enjoying this. Wow. Okay. All right. Thanks for playing. Oh my God. Okay, Brandmaster, you are up. Okay, Brandmaster, let's play d4. Okay, c4, knight f3, okay, finally we have a, a Slav, something different. Uh, bishop g4, I think I can play knight e5. I don't think he's supposed to play bishop g4 here. I think uh, this is supposed to be good for me. e6, okay, I'm just taking this, e4. Not too sure what he did was good. 
let's take this once and then maybe e5 knight e4 okay he goes here all right just uh, bishop d3 castles and i'm just gonna attack him yeah let's just uh let's just attack him on the on the light squares i'm planning to play f5 next and this is going to be super tough for him to deal with this because um if he takes here i might take on d5 can i take on d5 i think i can if he takes here I take the bishop and uh i'm threatening to take f5 so g6 is almost forced and then i can i can either take the bishop and try to push d5 uh or do i want control what do i want here i guess this is too good this is too good i can play queen d2 queen d2 looks good i just want some uh dark square control i can play bishop g5 bishop h6 and he should yeah he's uh trying to block here but then bishop g5 and i have a very good question for him how does he prevent how does he prevent queen h6 if i play queen h6 his mate so he has to go knight d5 but then i just play bishop c4 and this is completely over because i just trade and play queen h6 and he's made it So, um, Travel Freak, good to see you. Yeah, Brent Master, I think, um, gave up his uh, bishop pair. My bishops are doing some damage here. He, I think the best move here is really sad, but it's to take on f6. Other than that, I'm just meeting him. Okay, he goes here, so... Uh, I guess I just go here and he has to give up a queen. Yeah, I think uh, this is pretty much over. Yes, GM Ludo, you are right. Oh, he says he could not cancel the pre-move and left the rook. You were close to defeat. Yes, I was close to defeat. I was, I have to admit. Uh, GG, Brandmaster, thanks for playing. Uh, okay, we got Mr. Shellingford. Oh, this is gonna be a tough match. All right, Shellingford, best of luck, best of luck. All right. How does he play again? Um, okay, let's go here. He probably prepped. He goes bishop f4. What's the point again? If I go rook b8, rook here. Can I play b5 or am I just losing material? Bishop g4. Um, h3, I probably gotta take that and play knight d7 and maybe e5. Let's go here. Uh, wait a sec, can I take this? Can I take this? Queen takes e5, takes everything, but then I have no good discovery. I got no good discovery. What about e5 right away? e5, takes, pawn takes. Does it work? I hope it does. I hope it does. Takes, can I take with the knight? Let's say I take with the knight. I'm threatening to take the bishop, also threatening to take the pawn on c4. So now I think he has to defend this with b3, but then I can take here and I should be fine in this position. Hopefully. Okay, so he decides to take. Now we get into a opposite color bishop endgame. If he trades queens. Okay, let's take that. And uh, I guess c6 is a move. e4 is a move as well. 
Um, let's play c6. I want to make sure that his knight is not coming anywhere close to d5. And later on, I can maybe shift the knight to c5. Knight e4 if he wants to make a draw. Okay. Uh, can I approach my king now? Or do I want to play bishop f8? Maybe bishop f8 seems okay. And then maybe a5. Knight here. Is he threatening to play c5 or something? Maybe. Um, okay, let's go bishop e7. Let's approach the king. Okay, let's approach the king again. g4, h6. I don't want him to play g5. Let's trade. Let's play here. Oh, but I, I, I think I had e4. E4 was, was winning a pawn. Why did I do that? E4 would have been good. I'm turning E4 actually. Wait, how does he save it? He has to play knight here or something? Oh, but this is a very communal move. Um, do I have anything here? Knight D7. Okay. King C7. I'm going to let him trade and maybe play Bishop G5 or something. Okay, bishop here, okay, b5, takes, take back, king b6, oh, maybe it's a little bit unpleasant for him. Um, let's go knight here, I'm trying to get to d4 with my knight, while he cannot get to d5. So I guess this endgame is slightly unpleasant for him. And on top of this, I'm up on time, which is very important. Knight d4 check is on tap. Okay, take back. Now I get a pass pawn. Now I get a pass pawn. Um, okay, knight d4, threatening this. Bishop here, all right. King c5, okay, takes h4. Check over here. b5, b4, so I'm creating a second pass pawn, creating a second pass pawn here, Okay, I got this pawn, another pawn that I got. Feels good, man. Feels good. I was gonna flag him. Like, okay, so to his defense, he didn't lose on time, but he knows that I'm a dirty flagger and he has to, to move quickly. He knows he has to move quickly, otherwise he's gonna get flagged and that caused him to lose a pawn. So it's like, um, Reverse psychology or something. Against a less experienced player, if he's more of a beginner or someone who doesn't know me, he's just trying to play good chess, but he's going to flag and then complain like Kamsky. But instead, this guy knows I'm going to flag him. So instead, he's trying to play this game where he wants to play faster than me. But unfortunately, he drops a very important pawn on F3. So GG for Charlie Ford. Uh, it was actually a draw, but uh, hey, this is... Uh, this is uh, what happens. Huh. Oh, someone says, Lafong, you might get some negative feedback from Chess24 for wearing that sweatshirt. Well, you know, guys, um, I'm originally a chess bra. You can't, uh, you can't change who I am. A chess bra for life, you know? Uh, I can be a chess bra and an FN legend too, you know? Like, uh, one doesn't cancel the other. Yeah, so, uh, no, I don't think I would get in trouble. I'm proudly wearing this sweater here. Never heard this complaint like Kamsky before. Wow. I don't know if this guy is trolling or not. <coughs> Tom Bus saying the game was temporarily fun. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm very happy that I beat uh, Shelling Ford. It doesn't happen um, 
all the time. So I'm gonna enjoy this uh, this moment here. So very happy about it. Pila Porca, good to see you. Good to see you. All right, uh, we got Shelling Ford. Wow, that was a good match. I'm gonna take a a little break here just to show off the the hoodie. I don't think I would get into trouble. I think Chess 24. On the contrary, on the contrary, guys, I can tell you a very short story, but uh, the reason why I'm doing some Bender Blitz, um, it's been already, I don't know how many months now, but um, I met up with Zlatan, Laurent Fressinet in St. Louis, and uh, he actually was the one doing a banter. And, um, and then I think he asked me to join his banter as a special guest. And when I joined his banter, actually, a lot of Chess Bro fan came up to him came to his banter in the chat, uh, screaming chess bra, chess bra, and being super happy about it. And when Laurent saw that, he was like, wow, we got a chess bra uh, on chess 24, attracting some viewers. I think this is gonna be good. Let's uh, let's sign the papers, Mr. Mr. Laurent. And uh, this is how I got the, the position here. So uh, on the contrary, I think, uh, I think uh, part of uh, the reason why I'm here is because I'm a chess bra. So uh, guys, uh, there's no competition here. I think uh, you see the chess bra and you see the merch here, famous effing legend. Everyone gets along, everyone is happy. Let's, uh, let's get back to chess. Training system wants to play. Okay, all right, training system. Let's play. D4. <laughs> Plays, he plays pretty fast. Okay, this is going to be the Queen's Gambit exchange variation. Okay. All right, Bishop D3. I'm going to play the uh, one of the main lines, I guess. I'm going to play with Queen C2. Okay, he goes here. Uh, what am I supposed to do here? Can I just take this guy? H3 and Knight F3? Or Knight E2? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, he goes here. Okay. I think he just wants to trade everything. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Okay. Rook C1, I guess. If he plays C5, I'm probably just going to take it. And if he doesn't, I'll play B4. And make sure that uh, it's going to cost him an isolated pawn if he decides to push C5. If you push B5, I'm probably pushing E4 here. And I'm the one who's going to have an isolated pawn. But at least now that he committed to play b5, it's going to be way harder for him to push c5. So I think here he has to take. Yeah, so I'm taking this. And the question is, is my d4 pawn weaker than his c6 pawn? Uh, I don't believe so. And this is why I went for this line. Uh, should I play queen d3? What square is optimal? Let's go here. Aha, uh -huh. he's trying to uh, play knight c4. And I can't play knight here because he takes. This is a little bit annoying. Or should I play rook c5, knight c4, knight d2. And I drive his knight away like this. Yeah, so I'm gonna play knight d2. Uh, knight b2 is risky. Although maybe it's good. Um, I didn't calculate this. I didn't calculate this. Uh, knight b2, yeah. Knight b2 is something I didn't calculate, unfortunately. I'm going to have to go here and just give up a pawn. Oh, wow. He played this instantly, which is a little bit scary. He's going to take here. And I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm going to have to hustle here, down the pond. Uh, do I trade queens? Okay, let's trade queens. And let's play rook d2, threatening this pawn. Knight c3, knight d4, I guess. Uh, this is very unpleasant. Very unpleasant. So let's move here. Uh, rook c5. Rook c5, threatening this pawn. What's happening here? I don't have a good game. Not gonna lie. Wait, 
Oh, this is hanging, but this is hanging. Okay, gotta go for that. Gotta go for that. He takes here. Okay, let's take here. Rook c7. Threatening this pawn over here. He goes passive. Not sure it was a good idea. Okay, let's go here and uh, force him to create a weakness. Knight c6, threatening this pawn. Oh, I pre-moved this. Okay, let's take this and get this pawn. King g6, I go g4, and he's almost made it. Um, man, I'm so scared. Okay, g4, now I'm threatening mate. Yeah. Wow. No, training system, you played amazing. You played amazing chess. You outplayed me. But hey, time pressure was your enemy. Time pressure was your enemy. Wow, okay. I cleaned all the, the challengers. Uh, let's go back into the pool. Let's go back into the pool and try to find a decent opponent. Okay, three-minute game. I'm at my peak now. Uh, 3,046 is my current rating. And I'm playing a 2,800 CM from Chile. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, let's, let's play ninety two here. So the idea is that I want to play uh, bishop e3 and be able to push d5 without letting him play knight d4. That's the whole idea. Then f6, I'm going to play f3 here. So I'm playing a same edge. I'm playing a same edge variation. Queen d2. Can he play b5? Is he trying to play b5 here? Can I play d5 knight here? Knight d4? Can I do that? Knight d4? Or is he going to play c5? Let me think about that. Okay, let's take a passant. And I'm basically playing a Maroxy bind here. Um, okay, let's play b3. He definitely outplayed me in this opening. It's not an opening I'm very familiar with. It is definitely not the pawn structures I'm used to play. Why didn't I play f4? It's a very good question. d5. Um, okay, can I... T that was a slip I wanted to take here. Oh my god. So bad. No, now I'm in trouble. Knight g4 is annoying. I completely slipped. Okay, I guess I have to go here. I think knight g4 was really strong. Uh, okay, let's castle. And hopefully he doesn't have any dirty tactics. Maybe he does. Uh, b4. Let's give up a pawn. Do I have knight f5 here? Knight f5 takes, bishop takes. Trying to complicate the position. Not a great game. Not a great game. Okay, it takes. I'm going to take here. Knight takes. Taking this. He takes here. Um, okay, let's take over here. Does he have enough counterplay here? Or do I mean, do I have enough counterplay? Okay, bishop d3. Bishop d3, f5. Okay, bishop d3 threatening to take here. I think he has to play f5. But then maybe check. And again, it's, it's a complete mess. Check. King somewhere. Bishop takes, rook takes. What's going on? Check. Okay, he goes here. Uh, can I play check? Okay, let's play check over here. In rook f1. Queen g7, bishop e7, and I win a queen. 
So still down in exchange here. I think f6, f6, do I have any sort of tactics against f6? Bishop g6 maybe. I feel that he's dying after this move. Is he dead here? Queen e6. Queen e6, queen h8, queen g8, rook f6, and it's mate. Oh my god. Oh, this is so sexy. Please do it. Yeah, queen e6, check. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm so happy. I want six rating points for this. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was not clean. That was not clean, but it was a nice attacking game. Yeah, so if he plays here, I just, uh, I just go here. And I play checkmate. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, sometimes you get lucky. Undisputed. Let's play. Let's play Mr. Undisputed. Okay. Played him 11 times so far. Um, okay. Let's play B6. Let's switch it up. Okay. C5. Let's play this uh, hedgehog system. I'm going to let him play d4. I'm going to take. Oh, he doesn't do that. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go here. Hey, Friedel. Good to see you. Let's go here. So all my moves are very natural. Knight bd7. TVBT appreciating the finish. Um, how do I take it? Uh, I'm definitely not taking with the B pawn because that's boring. So let's take like this. Wow, well, Zia appreciating it too. Keely Manjaro showing some love. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. But hey, I was in trouble. It wasn't clean. It was beautiful, but not clean. He goes here. I can go bishop c6. And I think I'm going to meet queen b3 with either rook b8. Or b5. I don't know which one yet. Um, b5 takes, pawn takes, knight c3. And do I want to... Okay, he goes back, so I don't have to... Okay, so I just go rook b8. Maybe I want to play b5. Now with a4, I can no longer play b5. Um, what do I do? Rook d8 seems logical. Rook here, and now um, let's say knight g4, just to provoke him. h3, I'm going to go back to e5. What's up, Serge? Or Sergey, good to see you. Um, do I play e5 here? Maybe uh, bishop d6 is more reasonable. I don't want to commit to play e5 because knight d5 is coming. So bishop d6, and let's see what he does. If he goes back with the bishop, I might play h5 and start attacking him. He's taking a lot of time to make his moves, which is good for me. Queen here. Queen here, interesting. Um, okay, let's play 95. Just trying to get rid of his, his bishop on g2, trying to attack him. He takes, uh, let's take with the knight. Let's keep some material on the board. If he takes my bishop, I'm going to take with the queen. Okay, now I got control of this diagonal. Knight here is a good move. Knight here is a good move. It's very annoying. Okay, bishop, c7. Still keeping an eye on the knight here. Uh, okay, I see what he's doing. Can I go? He wants to maybe take here. Ah, oh, it's a little bit annoying. Okay, let's go f6. Just to defend. Maybe rook d4 next. With some tricks with knight c4. Now, can I take this and play e5? And the 
doesn't do much. Okay, let's go here. Takes, I'm going to take with the bishop. Oh, he goes here, but this is very unfortunate. Now I win a very important pile. He goes here. Uh, okay, do I want to take the queen? I guess I can. If he takes a rook, I take the rook. GG, undisputed. That's very unfortunate. You played very well up until then. Okay, Friedel, let's play. Friedel, a very faithful customer here. Uh, let's play... Let's play d4. Okay, c4. Hey, pawn holder. I think I saw your challenge. I'm going to take it. Don't worry. Oh, Friedel. Four pawns attack? I don't recall playing a four pawns attack against Friedel. What do you have in store for me? Because I'm going to do the usual thing. And you're going to have to prove that you're going to improve from our last games. Uh, let's go rookie one. Let's go rookie one, rookie eight, h3. Takes, I'm going to take back. And what's going on here? a6, I think I go bishop e3. b5, I go bishop f2. b4, I go knight a4. And then once I stabilize the position on the queen side, I attack you like a maniac with g4, g5. Okay, let's go g4. So the idea here is that uh, I'm not allowing him to play knight c5 before I push g5. So when I push g5, it's very hard for him to find a square. Okay, so he goes here. Now, this is not as good for him. Can I play, can I play a3? Or a3 is not a big deal. Rook e2. Okay, I'm, I'm going to play a3. He's probably going to play c4. But then I have to find an attacking plan because he's coming with knight c5, which is a little bit annoying. Um, or maybe h4, h5 is an early idea. Oh, wait a sec. He wants to sack here. Okay, I got to be careful here. So I'm going to play queen c2. If I played rook e2, he had uh, knight b2 takes and bishop c3. So queen c2 here at least avoids, although he can take and play b4. Oh my god. Please don't see it. Okay, he didn't see it. He didn't see it. That's very fortunate for me. Uh, can I play rook a d1? Rook a d1 followed by this or h4? Just to provoke something. Maybe some people just play h5. And then I can think about sacking later. Uh, he goes here. Uh, now h5 is playable. Let's play h5. He didn't play h5, so let's go. Oh, okay. Now I have a very good idea. When he plays rook e8, I have e5. Yeah. And now he can't take because I have d6. So this is a very thematic uh, push here in, in this opening. And uh, knight e4 isn't coming. So I think he's in big trouble here. He's in big trouble. So if he cannot take e5, it's really bad for him. Okay. He decides to stack. But... Uh, He's going to have to prove that he has enough. Knight f6 is possible. Can I just play knight f6? Uh, knight f6 takes, takes. I think this is enough. Okay. Trade. Trade again. And he's probably going to try to pressure the pawn on f6. But I have bishop c3, which should be good enough. Queen e8, I have queen here. And I'm just up a piece for two pawns. And if I trade the knight, it's pretty much game over. Okay, so what is the cleanest way to win here? I guess bishop here, just making sure that uh, I'm not losing a pawn. Okay, let's uh, attack his knight. If I trade his knight, it's game over. Okay, this is going to be really sad. Yeah, now his knight is completely trapped. So when his knight complete, wait, can I can I be fancy? Oh, this is so sexy. Look at this, guys. 
this is so nice. And now I win because I queen. Fidel, well played. GG. That was good. That was good. Okay. So Fidel. Um, okay. You know what? Pawn holder. <coughs> Let's play. Pawn holder. Okay. All right, guys. Oh my God. I lost. Okay. It's 1 0 for him. So lost to him last time I played. And the problem is, I don't remember how. And I just played this opening game against Friedel, so I'm really worried. Is he going to play e5? Oh, he takes. What? Wait, but. Okay, so it's exactly the same opening. Exactly the same opening part two. So Friedel, learn from the best. Learn from Pawn Holder. All right, let's play exactly the same. And let's see how he's going to improve. Uh, wait a sec. Is check okay? Can I just go here? Is it really good for him to trade those bishops? I'm not sure bishop d4 check was a good move. Queen f6. Uh, okay, g3. Is he playing g5? No, do I have this and that? Okay, let's go queen d2 and rook e1. I really want to play e5 here. Queen d4. Uh, I cannot take that. I can definitely not take that. So let's go queen f2 to unpin. And can I play g4 or knight? What's going on here? Can I play e5? Not really. Okay, let's go here. This is getting messy. He's trying to play knight c5. Um, can I play rook d1? Okay, let's play rook d1. e5 takes knight e4. e5 takes d6. I gotta go all in here. d6. Things are getting really messy. Knight e6, I can take this. Okay, this is a pawn. This is a pawn. He goes here. Can I go knight here? No rooks, no rooks are hanging. And now maybe check. Am I forcing him to give up an exchange? Oh, I was gonna hang a rook. Watch out. Don't blunder. Okay, maybe a rook f1, threatening to take b7. Um, he goes here. Okay, knight, bishop d5. Oh, he can take here, though. Oh, what a mistake. Hope he's not going to see it. Although, if he takes, I take back, takes, takes here, threatening to queen. Yeah, this is messy. Okay, he goes here. Uh, he goes here. That's a good move. That's a very good move. Queen g2, queen g2, queen c5. We have no choice. Let's go here. Now we can take this though. Okay, h4. He has to move the knight away. Let's take this. Queen check. Uh, What's going on? Can I queen? No, I can't. Oh my god, what's going on? Okay, let's go here. Look here. E6. Oh my god. I really got no clue what's going on. I think I'm losing. My initial reflex or instinct is that I'm losing this game. Okay, let's go rookie two. 
Okay, here. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna play a lot faster too. I'm gonna play a lot faster. Knight b5, I'm gonna play rook there. It takes. So now the time is around even. Okay, king g2, gotta play faster. Okay, let's go here. Yes, another swindle. Oh my God, another swindle. I'm so dirty, ah, oh, so dirty. So dirty. <coughs> wow, 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 wow. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. Oh, pawn holder. Wait, that's a GM though. Hey guys, that's a GM by the way. I'm just, just calling it out. That's a GM and it's 1 1. A GM from Serbia. Okay. See, I'm telling you guys, if I'm 3000 and some GMs are 2900, it shows that definitely they're underrated and he should be worth at least 21. 31 to 3200. Wow. Wow. I'm really happy about it. Really happy about it. Okay. Okay. Well, GG, Mr. Pond Holder. Uh, that was good. That was good. Oh my God. Okay. Let's take a little break here. I've been playing like a lot of strong players today. A lot of 2800s, a lot of 2900s. It's crazy. I played Shellingford, who um, was once 3000. Uh, but this rating is super tough to keep to keep uh, hope you guys are having a lot of fun tonight I'm still here for a little while um, so good to uh, good to see you don't be shy uh, I played a lot of high rated players tonight if you're lower rated Abdu I see you <laughs> but if you're lower rated don't be shy to challenge 3-0 um, is my favorite time control not only I can flag you <laughs> but I can also play more people so guys uh send your challenges i still have some time to play you uh just to want to announce also that uh, the next banter is thursday at 6 30 eastern time so uh next banter in 48 hours in two days i'm going to new york this weekend from friday to monday not gonna stream from uh not gonna stream from new york so that's why i'm doing the the two weekly banters on Tuesday and Thursday. <laughs> young ages win, says Pond Holder. Not that young anymore, Mr. Pond Holder. I don't know how old you think I am, but uh, how young I, you think I am, pardon me. But uh, not that uh, young anymore. Just celebrated my, uh, my birthday um, on last Tuesday. All right, let's uh, play Mr. Serge, who is clearly underrated at 2700, so here to give my rating to Serge. All right, let's play Serge. Good luck, buddy. Okay, let's go here. Uh, let's play B3. Bishop B2. Um, E3. Gonna be a reverse Benoni, okay. Five. Let's play a three. Rook e one. Knight bd two. Uh, Bishop f five. Queen e two. I guess. And I'm probably trying to. Can you push e four? Let's go here. Bishop g four. Maybe just Bishop f three. Yeah, bishop f3. I'm just trying to uh, to trade here, so I gain control over e4. Also, knight f5 is on tap later on, 
So Kilimanjaro, hope you appreciate this reverse Benoni. And uh, let's see what happens here. Okay, he goes back. Uh, can I? I guess I can play knight e4. Takes, I'm going to take like this. And I think he's going to play g6 here. Yeah, g6. I can either go uh, queen c2, f5, check. Let's go queen c2. f5, I think I have to check. Maybe play c5 after. Yeah, let's check him. And can I play f4? f4 or takes an f4. Let's take here. Can I play c5? Bishop moves. Queen c4. Attacking the rook here. Queen d7. And then maybe just knight here. And I think I'm threatening to take on d4 and maybe even here. Can I take here? I think I can. I think I can. Let's take this. So I think I want a pawn here. Can I even play f4? Is f4 crazy? Maybe a little bit. Okay, let's just chill here. Let's just go back here and play rook d1. Try to solidify my position. I'm up a pawn here. I'm going to try to play d4 just to defend this. Eventually, I'm going to try to play d4. I think the other option was risky with f4. No reason to go crazy here up a pawn. Um, he plays queen c6. But now, do I have d4? I think d4 is strong. I'm threatening d5. And this is an, a backward pawn. His rook is still hanging. And I'm threatening to play d5. How can he prevent this? Rook d5 maybe? But then I just take here, I guess. Rook d5. Uh, can I do play b4? No, I'm going to have to take if he plays rook d5. But then I take. He doesn't have time to take because I take the bishop. He plays queen d5. I can probably take here. And this is completely winning. So I think he has to go rook d5. d5. Crazy. Um, I guess I can take en passant. If he takes the queen. Okay, he doesn't take the queen. But now, can I just take here? If he takes this, I take the bishop. He goes here. Do I have rook d6? Rook d6 is really sexy. Rook d6 is more than sexy. Rook d6 is really nice. He takes, I take, and I win a piece. Check. And then I can even take this. And I move forward and I take the queen wow that was one of my best game ever I would say wow that was crazy and against Serge Sergey or Serge no this is crazy I'm really proud of that game um so I think the turning point is when I exchange the bishop and I play c5 queen c4 knight f3 and I just won everything uh gg Serge I was uh no, I'm really happy about this game. Wow. Um, okay. Okay. That was uh, that was good. Okay, Master Jam, let's play. Frozen Blade. Appreciating ta the tactics. Yeah, yeah. That was uh, that was pretty cool. Okay, Master Jam, let's go. From Bolivia. After this game, guys, I think I'm gonna switch it up to Bullet. If you guys want to challenge me, one zero um it would be a good thing to switch it up but uh, master jam hopefully you're here master jam 2003 and guys send your challenges and bullet i'm gonna take a few 
try to play some mini matches with people and um yeah my bullet rating is nowhere near my blitz rating which is surprising because i would consider myself a much better bullet player but hey i've been playing a lot of blitz here maybe i'm improving i don't know hopefully i'm improving don't forget guys merch is available famous effing legend mug uh drinking water now but uh good for wine good for coffee good for everything good for everything okay master jam i'll give you three more seconds to play a move two one i am so sorry about that so sorry about that um so guys send your challenges uh send your challenges and bullet would be super fun to play a few matches zia appreciating the entertainment i'm really glad like sure the haters will say that i flagged a lot of people today the haters will say that i had a lot of lo losing positions today which i don't disagree with um but i also had super good games i mean i i played good chess today and uh yeah i was happy about it uh surge saying f5 was a big mistake until f5 black was better in his opinion which is quite possible i don't know if he uh ran the game through the engine uh yet but uh yeah it's it's possible that uh you were better um mr mr surge um let's uh let's play some some bullet so i'm still waiting for your your challenges guy uh don't be shy send your challenges to the magnet one zero i got about uh 10 minutes 10 more minutes with you guys otherwise um i'll be with you guys be back in 48 hours on thursday 6 30 eastern time 6 30 eastern time uh is there anyone who wants to play okay serge how, how are you 2500 how are you 2500 this is amazing okay okay let's go here c5 queen b6 B4, let's try to weaken his knight over here, let's see what he does, uh, okay, rook c7 I guess, just chilling, let's go here, knight a3, and take this, so this is a pawn, oh what a mistake, he plays a4 now, um, so let's go here. D5. And D4. Now get a good grip. Let's go here. F5. Okay, first game goes to me, and uh, let's play again. Okay, ninety four. Let's go here. Take this guy. A three. Or H three. He takes I take back. Let's go B4. Let's go B4. Knight H4. Knight C5. One white king. 
what I'm seeing here. Okay. Let's take this guy, queen f3. Um, h4. Let's not allow any nonsense. This is an exchange. Let's take this. Um, let's go here. Okay, d4, d5, and let's just flag him here. Easy flag, easy flag. All right, Serge, let's play again. Whoa, those games are tough. Those games are tough. Okay, ninety four. Whoa, he's uh trying to rip my head off already. Okay, takes here. Uh, knight c six. Bishop f five. All right, bishop here. And now we get a very pleasant game. And here. I'm gonna play c6 next move. I can take this, take that, c5, h5, f5, okay. b6, let's be solid. Okay, Serge, I think uh, that's enough. We have played already three games. Three games, I'm gonna give a chance to uh, someone else to uh, to play. Wow, this is amazing. I, I think, I think I'm still, uh, still undefeated today. This is crazy. Uh, it's by far my best, my best banter. Uh, I think in Blitz, I'm 3,070. Uh, <laughs> And uh, it's insane to think that I am 30 points away from 3,100, but uh, knocking on wood, knocking on wood. I don't think I'm anywhere close to cross 3,100, but uh, it, would be, uh, it would be crazy if I did. I have an Instagram post. Um, I have an Instagram post uh, that you guys can check out uh, right here, but I have a, an IG post uh, I made on uh, me crossing 3,000 for the first time. But uh, hey, if I cross 3,100, definitely gonna make a, a second post and uh, gonna try to uh, to wear this shirt when I when I do cross. But um, it's not gonna be next banter. Uh, I mean, 3,070 still 30 points away from uh, uh, from 3,100. I don't think I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna be able to uh, to do it. But it's amazing. I, I, I beat Shellingford today. Beat Serge or Sergey. Beat. Uh, a couple 2900s uh, GM so that's uh, that's pretty good uh, guys send your challenges uh, to the magnet 10 okay we got uh, MGTOW challenging but MGTOW you gotta challenge bullet buddy uh, I don't have time for a blitz so MGTOW if you challenge bullet I'll take I'll take you play a few um, because I'm running out of time here. I still got a couple minutes. So MGTOW, I see your challenge. Send it. And uh, we will play. We will play. Zia believes I can reach 3,100. That would be sick. That would be sick if I can reach that. Okay, so MGTOW, I'm still waiting for your challenge. Uh, there's a pleb challenging. Bishop h6. <laughs> Really tempting to take the challenge from the pleb. Okay, you know what? Let's do it. He's only 2100, but it's 1-1 one, one in bullet. So if I lose, oh, it's 2-1 in bullet. All right, let's do it. 
This is the best username ever. So pleb is challenging. I'm gonna risk my whole rating here. Hope he's gonna play. So guys, don't be shy. If bishop h takes doesn't make a move, I'll still have time to play you guys. But it's been uh, an amazing banter session, no matter what happens in this one, because my blitz rating is at its peak, 3070. Oh, bishop h takes trolling me. He's not playing. Ah, oh, come on, bishop h takes. But you didn't beat MGTOW. Well, MGTOW, you chickened out. Oh my god, he's playing. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Okay. It's pretty fast, which is scary. Okay. Oh, that's a bishop. Uh, wait, whoa, 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 gotta be careful here. Gotta be careful. E4. Okay. Let's take this. F4. Queen G2. Okay, I'm gonna take that. And I'm gonna mate. Okay, bishop h6. Let's play a second one. Whoa, this player is really dangerous. Wow, TBR Nix555. Grats on your new high and bliss. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, don't play, don't take on c5. Ah, oh, he takes on c5. This is so much fun. Okay, let's take this. That's a free piece, buddy. Okay. Well, we're going to finish it like this. Okay. All right, guys. It's been fun. 3,070. 30 points away from 3,100. This, uh, this is amazing. Really looking forward to the next banter on Thursday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Make sure to tune in with high energy. It's been one of the best banter so far. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. And uh, I'll see you guys very soon. Take care. Good evening.